Hey, my name is Liz Ganetis. I'm a personal trainer here in New York City. I'm a brown belt in Brazilian Jiu Jitsu too. So today I want to try to explain to you, you know, how can you lose fatness? And I'm not going to come up with any crazy diet or crazy workout. I'm going to tell you how your body works and what you can do about it. All right? So we can compare with a car. If you go and you fill it up the tank and you just use it to go around the corner, you're not using that fuel, right? And then you go and you try to fill it up again. So you need more space, you know, to keep that gas. You don't want to, like, waste it. And that's the same thing with your body, you know. If you keep eating, 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 and not spending the energy, it's going to stay there. It's going to turn into fatness. And how can you lose this fatness, right? You have to go for the right kind of workout or exercise. Our body, when it needs to move, it goes for different ways to get energy. Right. There is the anaerobic way and the aerobic way. The anaerobic way, I'm going to talk about another time. We are going to talk about the aerobic way because that's the way you're going to go for the fatness. So it's all about duration and not intensity. I'm going to explain how. You can compare a sprinter with someone that does marathon, right? You can see how tiny and skinny the marathon guy is. And this printer guy is very muscular, of course. He needs strength, he needs like an explosion. So this is the big deal. In a scale of zero to 10, you should try to exercise and work out between six to seven. Always, always challenging your body, always, always challenging, but you don't have to get crazy about things. You just have to keep moving. And that's why you need an act active lifestyle. You need to get out of the couch and go outside for a walk. If you're working in front of a computer the whole day, you know, try to move your body afterwards or, or, or meanwhile, if your boss doesn't like getting your nerves, right? So what you can do, you can like, instead of getting the car and the train all the time to go to work, you can walk or you can get a bike. Instead of getting the elevator, you can go through the stairs. So if you keep that momentum of moving, 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 that's when your body's gonna go for the fatness to turn into energy. You know what is very important about it? It's what you eat. So if you eat too much and you're not spending, you're gonna gain weight. And some little decisions every day, like for example, that I see a lot of here, uh, almost get me crazy. People go for an iced coffee, right? And then they, give, they go there and like, oh, I want a mochaccino with cream, extra cream, blah, blah, blah. Man, it's so much sugar inside of it. It's so much fat. It's like 800 calories in one little cup or sometimes a big cup. You know why you should get just a nice coffee with a little bit of milk and, and, and one sugar? Don't you want to wake up or something? You know, and then you go, how much do you have to work out for 800 calories? We generally need between 2,000 to 2,500 calories. This kind of an active person, someone that's not active is less than that. So you have to start thinking about it. Your little choices when you eat, if they're getting more nutrition or more calories, you know, and why you, are you eating on that moment? You know, that's what you have to start thinking. Uh, I made a list here about some things that I should say. So instead of running, for example, right? Instead of running uh, like crazy, you almost can breathe and you get so aggravated because you're running. You slow down that pace and try to run longer. This is definitely going to help you. And you don't really have to run. You just have to move. So you can do like sit-ups, squats, jumping. You can do walking. You know, you just keep for a long duration. 30 minutes minimum, three times a week. This is going to get you huge results. You know, huge. You're going to see the difference. And you're going to start feeling better. It's all about adaptation. If you adapt your body to be lazy and not do anything, your body's going to stay like that. But if you start trying to adapt your body to uh, uh, active lifestyle, your body's going to adapt to that. That's the big secret. You adapt your body to what the hell you want. We are capable of it. Our machine, this is such a perfect machine. You know, you have to believe in yourself. You have to believe you can do it. Um, okay, I'm going to go back to the eating part so just to close it very fast. So... If you think, oh, you know what I'm going to do? I'm just not going to eat and I'm going to lose weight. Yes, you're going to lose weight. But the problem is your body is very smart. 
you're just gonna stop eating and your body's gonna think oh my god you know there is no 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 food coming in I have to keep whatever I have here and you slow down the rhythm so you're not gonna have energy you know less food less energy you don't want to do anything all right you're gonna lose that weight in the beginning but afterwards when you start eating normally your body's gonna think oh there is food coming but I'm not gonna waste it you know I'm not gonna like I'm gonna keep it there for whenever I need I don't know when I'm gonna go through this starvation again believe it I learned I learned with myself I passed through all these crazy things in my life you know not eating and you know a lot of crazy shit I even had that overtraining and, and I was doing everything wrong and now today I have I'm in the best shape of my life at 33 years old eating as much as I want you know but always going for the right food trying to eat clean and train dirty that's that's the big thing so I hope you got the idea I hope you start trying to adapt your body for a, a active healthy lifestyle you know that's all you need your self-esteem is gonna go up you're gonna feel better you're gonna have a better life believe me it's all about what you eat and about exercise I hope you like and I see you next time